What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're bringing the Scarlet and Violet starter into Regulation F. We got ourselves a Miascarada team for you guys today. Now, Miascarada, really cool Pokemon, but hasn't really been seen in Regulation F. It has its signature move Flower Trick, which is a guaranteed critical hit every single time. And to be honest, I think this Pokemon is really strong. I always have a good time rocking out with it. And I usually win a lot of matches with it. But this Miascarada is rocking Protean, a top tier ability that allows us to switch its typing to get stab on any move that it uses. It actually used to be OP in generations before, but since then they nerfed it. But still, like I said, very strong ability. Miascarada is also rocking the Focus Ash, so it can soak up at least one hit, then a great move set of Flower Trick, Foul Play, Triple Axle, and Protect. The two other regulation F Pokemon on the team, first one is going to be Incineroar, we don't even need to talk about that Pokemon, but the second one is going to be Rhyperior. Now Rhyperior is top tier within the Trick Room, so we're going to be pairing up with Ferrigraph to help this Pokemon get into that Trick Room and allow it to do work. Rhyperior has Lightning Rod to help out other Pokemon such as Iron Bundle from Electric Moves and it also has the Assault Best Sense item. Checking out its moveset, its moveset is awesome with high horsepower, rock slide, ice punch, and heavy slam. Cannot wait to use this Pokemon in the rank regulation F ladder. Final two Pokemon on today's team is going to be Iron Bundle and Enamorous. Enamorous, super strong, especially in Trick Room. Again, we have Freak Rift to set that Trick Room. And on top of that, it has Contrary as its ability. Awesome ability that Superior gets and Malamar gets. We already showcased both this Pokemon so you guys know what this ability does. But, um, Enamorous has Super Power, Play Rough, Iron Head, and Protect. With that Steel Terror type, making Iron Head do a bit more damage. And like I said, we have Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is always very, very solid ever since it's been released in the game. With Booster Energy and Cork Drive, and then we got Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, Encore, and Protect. Really liking this team, cannot wait to showcase it for you guys. But if you guys want to run the team for yourself, the rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you like it up and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against Vincent Ango. Smeargle, the artist over here, alongside with Iron Hands, Arch Ludon, and then they got Ursaluna, Fluttermane, and Ogre Pond. So they don't really have anybody to pop Trick Room besides Flutterbane, but most of the time Fluttermane popping Trick Room is just never happening. So I think they just have Ursaluna in case Trick Room is coming out here. But I don't even think we're gonna bring it out here. I think we're gonna lead a Pokemon such as Incineroar, just somebody to outspeed Smeargle and kinda start attacking that thing. But actually Smeargle might attack him first, but you never know. You never know. I could go Delibird. I could go Meowskarada. Not bad lead here. I kind of want to bring in all three of those Pokemon with Enamorous because this Enamorous' speed is actually kind of high. It's actually kind of high. So, I kind of like that. But I don't know who I should lead. I like Incineroar, especially for a Intimidate lead. But, hmm. What's my play here? Yeah, Parting Shot, right? Okay, we're going to go Incineroar alongside with Delibird. I like Delibird here. I think it's a pretty strong Pokemon. I think we just have to watch out for that Iron Hands. Iron Hands could definitely be a little scary. So I'm going to bring in both of them. I'm going to bring in Miascarada. And last but not least, Enamorous. I really do like these Pokemon. I think it's going to be a solid little matchup here. But a Pokemon that I am worried about a little bit is going to be Arch Ludon. The stamina boost really get going. But I do have a great special attacker with, uh, what's that Pokemon? Iron Bundle. And I can have guaranteed crits also rocking out with Miascarada. So that could be pretty good. But they end up going Archie Ludon alongside with you. So I'm going to be able to outspeed. I can pick out. I can parting shot. Um, do I even want to fake out the Archie Ludon? That's the real question. Do I even want to fake out the Archie Ludon? So I'm going to get the Quirk Drive boost. I'm going to take over speed. And from here, I might just double down and flutter me. Instead of faking out, I might just double down and flutter me here. I might just go Flare Blitz and Freeze Dry. Double down into Fluts. I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Arch Ludon could protect, but chances are it's a Soul Vest it. So we'll actually see what he wants to do, right? He'll probably just stay in here and just bite the fake out. But we're not faking it out. Maybe I should have, but I didn't want to fake it out because I need to get some free stamina moves. And I'm really not dealing with all those body presses coming in hot here. So we'll see what he wants to do. Hopefully he just swaps to Arch Ludon and we get a, a free double down in the Flutter main here. That could be good. That could be lovely. Yep, they withdraw Archer Lunon. Cool. They're gonna withdraw Archer Lunon. They don't want to be faked out, and they're gonna go into who? Maybe they thought we were attacking. They're gonna go into Iron Hands and just protect Fluttermane. So it's just an obsolete neutral turn here. 
Now they have the fake out advantage onto us. So the fake out advantage comes out here. Chances are they're going to fake out the iron bundle, right? So I could terrestrialize in the ghost here and dodge that. And which is probably my best bet, right? I know I iron hands is looking rather annoying. So I could just party shot into him at this point. And then just go terrestrialize and freeze dry. And then maybe just encore that Pokemon later. Let's see how much damage this freeze dry is going to do. But we're terrestrialized. We are terrestrialized. I doubt he goes for a shadow ball into the iron bundle slot. That would be a crazy smart play if you go shadow ball into the iron bundle just in case I terrestrialize. But yeah, we're going straight ghost. I I doubt you fake out my Incineroar. I think you'd rather fake out my Iron Bundle, right? No, you're not even going for fake out. You might just be going for a wild charge. So free strike chunking up some damage here. Moonblast flying into Incineroar, which is doing some nice damage. Maybe you thought I was just protecting. And I get the parting shot. So chance are he's going for a fighting move into the slot. I get off parting shot beforehand. And from here, who do we swap into? Because we could go Miascarada, but again, dark typing, not looking so hot. So Enamor should probably be our best bet here. I should go for a wild charge in that slot, but I don't mind this. I do not mind this. I'm upset he didn't go for the fake out because I really want the Encore on this next turn. If ends up going for a Swords Dance, and yeah, you're totally getting Encore. I'm just not dealing with that. I'm just not dealing with you, right? You're getting Encore in the Swords Dance. You're getting Encore in the Swords Dance. So I'm doing this. I'm encoring you in the sword stance, and, and we're, we're just not playing around, right? We're not playing around. I can't allow you to just, just to start attacking me, because you're probably going to Thrasilize here. Okay, you withdraw Flutter me. That's fine. Drop an Iron Head in the slot. Who are you going into? Arch Lunon. Did you predict the Iron Head coming into the slot? How dare you? How dare you? But we're going to encore you. We're going to say, Ayo, all you can do now is just sword stance and sword stance forever. So we got two solid special attackers. It might be time to just start attacking Arch Lunon. Actually, you're physical attacking. We might just want to start superpowering you. And this thing is just going to constantly sword stands for the rest of the match. Do I start attacking it now? I really just want to just, you know, start doing this. Superpower, start boosting our stats like that. And maybe just Hydro Pump this thing. Or even Freeze Dry. Let's just Freeze Dry. Double down to Arch Ludon. Because now he's just sitting here on Cord Sword Sands. This is a great match. We have some good matches on the rank ladder. But I wonder what he's going to do here. He might, if I were him, I'd probably just stay in with Iron Hands. I'm hoping he doesn't do this, but I'd probably stay in with Iron Hands. Just look to get rid of the Iron Bundle. And cool, they swap. That's what we wanted. We got the thing on out of here. And they're going to swap. And they go into Smeargle. Now, Smeargle in the back end is really weird. Do not protect the Arch Ludon. I don't think you have Protect. And we're going to be able to drop this. Get off some decent damage. He's going to get a Stamina Boost. And Superpower is going to come out here. Boosting our defense. Maybe we should have Terrasalized you. That's not bad damage right there. Because we get an attack boost and a defense boost at the same time. And are you going for fla uh, Flash Cannon? I wouldn't like that at one bit. But he ends up going for Electro Shock. This thing's stuck for this turn. We might as well just double down into it again, right? We might as well double down. But chances are they're going to go for the fake out here, right? They're probably going to fake out the Enamorous. If anything. So I could protect it, but I think we should just start attacking. I think we should just keep attacking this thing. All right, let's see. Let's see. So boosted special attack. So they're not going to fake me out, which is huge, because then I get to do this, and superpower can take out. That's massive. Are you sporing me, Smeargle? you got to be sporing me, but I'm going to actually finish off Arch Ludon. That's big time. Getting rid of Arch Ludon like that. I'm surprised he went into Electro Shot without the rain? Without the rain? Kind of crazy, but... I'm able to finish off on plus two on attack and a plus two on defense. Which is good. And he's just gonna baton pass over here. Okay, a little baton pass. After it's moody change, and who are you gonna give it to? That's the real question. Who are you gonna give it to? I would think it would be the Fluttermane, right? Actually, no, because it was special attack drop. So he's gonna give it off to this. And I forget what stack got boosted, so I'm gonna have to check it out. I know special attack got dropped. Are you going back into Smeargle here? No thought you would but what is your stats plus two on defense oh that's a little bit of a problem that is a little bit of a problem but from here iron head's gonna be our play and i'm just gonna rock freeze dry in this slot gonna have to rock freeze dry into the slot we have to start getting off some damage on this thing plus two defense he ends up protecting the floor main, which is totally fine i mean you probably do have wild charge a freeze dry should be able to chunk up eight little bit of damage. I probably bested, right? 
Oh, but we get a freeze. We put this thing in an iceberg. Awesome. We put this thing into a berg full of ice, which is huge. So they could swap flutter main here. I don't want to terrasla. Actually, I can't even terrasla. I was gonna say I don't want to terrasla my Namorous, but I can't even terrasla. Um, I could go for another superpower, start boosting my stats a little bit more if I want to. And I could read that they're swapping into Smeargle, but I'm gonna just stick with this Iron Head here. So Iron Head is gonna come out here. Uh, we're gonna rip another Freeze Try and just keep chunking up damage onto this thing while it's frozen, right? So if you want to swap into, if you want to swap into your Pokemon, you can. I have plus two defense on my Enamorous. But Fluttermane, I, it needs to go. This Iron Head should be able to KO with that plus two attack boost. We should be able to thrive out from there. So I still have me Alshkarad in the back end, which is a solid Pokemon for us. But that freeze was great. That freeze was great. But once Iron Bundle dies out here, which I think it does, they're going to Terrasalize probably Fluttermane, maybe? Or Iron Hands. No, Fluttermane's going to get Terra Fairy Terra. So it knows it's dying. I think he wants to do as much damage as he possibly can onto my Pokemon. Which is fine. I don't mind that. I don't mind that because uh, Enamor should be able to soak that up. Freeze tries in a flyer. Chunk up a little bit more damage, bring this thing to half. And of course, your Rock and Berry, not best. So you're just soaking these shots really well. So Citrus Berry is coming out here, giving it some more HP. Hopefully, it's frozen for another turn. Lean is flying. Enamor, just eat it up, please. And thank you. Thank you. That actually did a lot of damage. A bit too much damage. But now Enamor goes. We get rid of the Flutter Main. Shamir grows forced to come out here. And if Iron Hands can be. Uh, frozen one more turn, that'd be massive. Because that will allow me to just start attacking that with the Namorous, because I will outspeed. Cool. So Smeargle's coming out here. And let's see if this thing's frozen first. And it is. Cool. So Big Time Freeze comes out here. I got Miascarada ready to go. And I still have Incineroar if I want to go into him, but I'm going Miascarada here. I'm ready to just put some attack power down. Smeargle's going to come out here. Um... I might as well double protect, right? And just let the Moody get boosted here. Because I don't want him faking out any of my Pokemon. I have Focus Ash on one. Yeah, I'm just going to protect here. I'm just going to double protect. We'll let, the, we'll let the freeze wear off. It's probably wearing off this turn anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to switch it to a normal type. Oh, come on. I hate that Protean switches me like that. And I can't switch back. That's tough. Maybe I should just attack first turn. Good old Protean. Burning bowl work. You have burning bowl. You really have that move. That's actually crazy. Good thing we didn't attack that thing. And he's still frozen. Okay. You are still frozen. We're still a frozen little Pokemon. So Moody's gonna actually boost this thing's stats. Drop its speed, which is good. And what stat did it boost up? I didn't even see it. Attack. Okay. Um. So from here, I'm actually just gonna play rough you. I'm gonna flower trick on top of that. We're just gonna double down to you. Cause Smeargle, I'm just not worried about it. You could have followed me. You could. You could have followed me. But I'm just like, like, you're not gonna be able to just uh, to out attack me. So I might as well just go after this thing, right? And I feel bad for your opponent considering it had a lot of turns in freeze. What was that? Three turn freeze? That does suck. That does suck. But hey, it happens to me. I can't complain when it when uh it happens to my opponents. But out comes a Spore. Finally, their Smeargle's doing work, and we're going to wrap up this match. So it's a solid match. Enamor's definitely clutching up with all of its boosts, being able to get rid of that, uh, that, what's it called? That Arch Ludon was massive. And now Miyashkarada coming in the back end, finishing this match off. We're just going to superpower Flower Trick yet again. And ladies and gentlemen, GG's to our opponents here. Match number one going to us. This Smeargle is not a threat at all. He's just a support Pokemon with a paintbrush tail. He does look sick. I do like Smeargle. I really do like Smeargle. But let's see if they do anything to finish off this match. If I were them, I'd just cancel. I still have my Incineroar in the back end. And that is going to be the game. Yep, battle was canceled. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against Flutter Mains pre-evolution. Mistrevious, right? Yeah, Mistrevious. Really cool Pokemon. Can rock the Evil Light. And it's actually pretty decent on the rank double ladder. So, gotta watch out for that Pokemon. They also have Hatterene. They got Ndidi. They got Ursaluna. This team is screaming Trick Room. So, Rhyperior has a chance to shine here. I really do like Rhyperior. I could lead Frigraph here as well, because Frigraph actually isn't that bad with the decent stats here. And I could just go Rhyperior and Frigraph. I could, and that might be my lead. That might be my lead with Lightning Rod, all that good stuff. I do like that. So I'm going to end up going into both of them for a nice little bit lead. I could bring Incineroar and back end Miascarada, which is probably one of my best bets, right? 
especially with focus Ash late game we're gonna do that so right here getting a little bit of love in here in match number two miascarada we're, we're gonna be using it in every single match probably it's just such a good back end pokemon and i really like having it like you guys seen in the last match we kind of did some front work with iron bundle and enamorous and then bringing in miascarada in late game just super super strong has great move set just kind of clean up everything but they end up going into these guys and now we're sitting in a little bit of a problem because urshifu actually that's dark urshifu so that's pretty good i was gonna say urshifu can actually get after us but i'm gonna pop trick room with you that's gonna be my first play and i would like to protect this thing but if close combat comes in here we're in trouble we are in trouble if close combat comes in this slot but i'm just gonna heavy slam i don't have protecting this i do have a soul vest though so i'm gonna heavy slam this slot and we're gonna terrestrialize the Frigraph just in case the Wicked Blow wants to come through and hit the Frigraph, which most likely is gonna happen. So we're gonna terrestrialize this thing. Just try to make sure we get off Trick Room right here because now we're forced to put up Trick Room. We are forced to put up Trick Room, but that's a, such a good lead for them. Reading that we're gonna go into the Trick Room squad. The so Hyper Beam's gonna fly through here. Oh, you doubling down in this thing. Are you kidding me? You have Hyper Beam? Good thing I have the Citrus Berry, but you have Hyper Beam? <laughs> Hyper Beam me. I'm up to 110 HP. Hopefully, if Wicked Blow is coming in this slot, we can eat up. And what are you going for, Urshifu? Why is my Rhyperior right outspeeding you? That's a slow Urshifu. That Urshifu, how slow are you? You're slower than my Rhyperior? Wait, whoa, wait a minute. You are slower than this? That's crazy. I've never seen an Earth food that slow. Never, not never in my life. That is crazy. That is absurd. But I could help in hand before I go out here. And I think I'm going to do that. And kind of wish I did have. I kind of wish I did have EQ at this point. I could potentially rock slide. Hmm. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. Um, that's crazy though. That is crazy. But from here, I'm gonna try to pull off Dazzling Gleam. And I guess we'll just go for Ice Punch in this side. That is absurd. That is absurd that you're that slow. But Ursula probably gonna throw slides here. Maybe it might be this Urshifu. And it is gonna be the Urshifu just to get off its dark and fighting type. He's just gonna go into straight dark. So he's straight darking out here. Could be going for Sucker Punch. Could be going for Wicked Blow. But We'll see how this one goes. He goes into a wicked blow. Now you're out. Like, no, okay, never mind. No, he's slowest on the field, which is absurd. So he's just doing a great amount of damage. Ice Punch gonna fly over here. Maybe give us a freeze. Nah, we don't freeze today. You got policy. Oh no. Oh no. But yo, this Urshifu is the real deal. It's the real deal right here. That's gleam's gonna be able to fly though. Chunk up some nice damage on the Urshifu and a little bit on the Urshifu. And yeah, it's pretty good. But it is just absurd that that thing is that slow. I've never seen it before. That's crazy. That's crazy cool, though. I really do like it. I really do like that. So from here, I could intimidate both these guys. Or I could just go into Miascarada with the Focus Sash, which is not bad. And I think that might be my best bet, just to go into Sash. Sash Miascarada. I could actually protect this turn, which wouldn't be a bad play. But I think I just protect the next turn to waste out some turns. We'll see. We'll see because I gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room. We have three. So I could protect and then use Focus Ash. But I'm thinking of using Focus Ash right now. No, 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 no. We're, we're gonna protect right here. We're gonna protect. We're gonna allow you to die out here. And just protect you. I should have probably popped Trick Room last turn just to try to cancel it out after I seen how slow this Urshfu is. But. If you like that. Let's see what they end up going into. So I think he's just going to finish off you. Yeah. And then you're just going to go into your normal move, right? Okay. I see you. I understand. All right. So now I get to bring out. Now I get to bring out Incineroar. And this is where we 100% fake out the Urshifu. And we just start attacking it, right? I don't know if we detect anything, right? Or, I don't, I don't think he protects anything. I think Ursa Luna would be the one to protect, if anything. But I have Focus Ash on Miascarada, which is really good. But I have to take out Ursa because that Pokemon hits super attacks, and it's just a problem. So I'm going to do that. 
And I'm just going to go for a flower trick and I'm just going to finish him off. So I'm doubling down into the slot. I can protect the Oscarada the next turn to finish off the trick room and get some speed back on my side. Let's see. Let's see what he does here. Hopefully he just protects the Ursula. It would definitely be a shame if he detects here and that's exactly what happened. So hopefully he goes for a double protect here. I would actually like that a lot. And no, they don't. Great plays on our opponents. And this one's not looking good for us. Definitely not looking good. Earth Power is going to fly. That's going to KO us all day long. And that is going to be game. That is going to be game. Unless I... Hmm. Hmm. Hold up. Let me think about this one. Let me think about this one. Because Blood Moon's going to KO us. Um, Sucker Punch is looking scary. Uh... Protect's not going to do anything for us. Besides protect us from... From Urshifu's move. Yeah, we don't stand a chance here. We don't stand a chance. I'm still going to protect here. It's just a great protect on his end. Or I should say detect on his end. But now he's just going to double down into me. And he's going to be able to wicked blow. So that's going to bring me down to Sash. That's where the problem... This is where the problem stands. Because now he can just suck a punch and finish me off. So that protect right there on his end really just saved the game there. Because if I could have KO'd that thing, even if my instant worm went down, I could have taken out Ursula in the next turn. And depending on what his last Pokemon was, I had a hot shot at winning this match. But still, solid solid match on their end. This Urshfu was insane. I'll still fight it out. We'll see if we can win this one. I'll go after Ursula in here, even though it's probably going to protect. No, just back in They had two first turn priority moves. So that's the game. We're one and one. Let's go hop into our third. Try to showcase the Oscarada a little bit better. Final match is on its way. We're going up against Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. Miyaskarada, a great counter to that combo, so I'm definitely bringing in this Pokemon. They also have Weather Control with Pelipper. They have a Raquinid in case of Trick Room, or if they want to set Trick Room with Sinistra. So, and then last but not least, they do have Landers. Now, Miyaskarada is going to be really, really good up against a lot of these Pokemon, considering a few of them are water. And on top of that, we have an Ice move to deal with the Landers and the Sinistra. I really do like this. I definitely do like Miyaskarada, but do I lead it? Probably not. I think we saved Miyasarada for the right time because we're definitely going to need it to counter the Don Dozo. But from here, I could lead a Pokemon like Delibird. I think Delibird is going to be great all around, outspeed a lot of Pokemon, and be super effective onto a lot. So Delibird is going to get the lead from me. I'm also going to lead a Fake Out user, Fake Out Intimidate, or I could lead a Pokemon like Enamorous and just start setting that up. I like that a bit more. So I'm going to go into all of them. I'm going to bring mm, probably mm, Incineroar or Rhyperior here. Or maybe just for Rigorath, because I don't like all these water Pokemon here. I really don't. I think I'd rather go into Incineroar, though. Just for fake-out purposes, right? If it dies out to a water move, it dies out. But at least I can get off a fake-out turn, start flinching some Pokemon, and kind of get after the match that way. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But, yo, that Urshifu definitely threw me off in the last match. I thought we were going to have Rapier rocking out there, doing some crazy damage, outspeeding everybody. But, nah, that Urshifu had other plans. So I was so confused to why it, my Rapier went before it. In the uh without the trick room and i was sitting there i was like what is going on here what is going on but he ends up going into pelipper alongside with landers now landers massive threat definitely a massive threat here i think i might just hydro pump into that slot because he could terrestrialize most likely going to terrestrialize so i'm gonna hydro pump in this slot if he doesn't terrestrialize he doesn't and on top of that i could just start popping superpowers if i want to but um I could terrestrialize and steal too if I want to. But nah, steel's probably not our best bet. We kind of want to keep our flying type in here. So I'm just going to rock a play rough and go double down in the slot. I might just double down into the slot. He could protect, he could withdraw. I'm going to double down in the slot. I'm going to just get rid of the same. Double down. Yeah, he's terrestrializing. So this is exactly why we want to go into a Hydro Pump. Just in case terrestrialize, we get this damage boost from him. And it's probably poison typing, right? It is. It is poison type, and so Iron Head, eh. Yeah, Iron Head wasn't the call. Iron Head wasn't the best call. He has a Y Guard, and that's totally fine. I don't mind the Y Guard. I don't mind the Y Guard. The Y Guard comes out here. Hydro Pump's going to connect, which is massive. Big time damage, and just KO it. So that actually works out perfectly. The Hydro Pump just KOs just like that. So Iron Head can slide over. Iron Head wasn't the greatest call in my head, but hey, that worked out actually perfectly now. Because Iron Head. Gonna be not very effective, but most likely Pelipper is Focus Ash. But now we are sitting in such a good position because now they don't have Terra. Now they go into Don Dozo, and I could honestly just hit this thing, but you don't have Terra. Why? Why wouldn't I just attack you and superpower you at the same time? 
Yeah, I'm just gonna double down in Don Dozo, unless you protect Don Dozo. But I think you just swap here. And then at this point, we get off a big time freeze drive, we get off super power for the stat boost, and they do end up just protecting. So, smart call on their end. Real smart call. I'm just gonna keep double down in Don Dozo, right? That's the big threat. That's the big boy threat. I have Miyasuke Rod in the back end to deal with it, which is good. When we double down, both of them are going to get blocked. That's a smart play, because now they can attack one of my Pokemon. They're going to attack my Delibird, who should soak this. Yeah, good. But, but, but of course, of course the Ducks have to come out here. So now I'm confused. They're really hoping. I could actually Encore this Don Dozo into Protect. That'd be a little bit of a problem for it, but I don't, I don't mind just uh, double down into him at this point. He ends up withdrawing the Pelipper here. We're still doubling down into him. Tatsukiri is going to come out here. And we're hoping we can land some shots here, right? The Tatsu Gummy coming out here, hopping into the giant catfish whale mouth. Right? That's a whale catfish, right? That ain't no normal catfish. <laughs> that ain't no normal catfish. Even though catfish get big. That, that's a whale right there. <laughs> that thing's a whale. <laughs> but uh, he's going to get all the stat boost from Commander. You better not be confused, Iron Bundle. You have to show up today. Bro, what did I tell you? What did I just tell you? You can't be confused out here versus Don Dozo. Surf now flying. A little bit of a problem because now Iron Bundle dies out here. And Enamorous almost dies. Absurd. Absurd. Real absurd. Real absurd. The superpower is going to fly do about three and a half damage. But I get some boost. Okay. So from here, it's time. It's time to bring out the doll. Meowskarada. It's time to bring out Meowskarada. And I'm going to have to terrestrialize Meowskarada. Give it the damage boost. We got to get cooking with this thing. Luckily, they don't have Terra. That's huge for us. We get guaranteed crit. We go into Flower Trick. Terras slash grass attack right now. Now I get to attack and I'm just going to protect you. Because if I can KO you, I can definitely use Enamorous for a different game. Alright. So me ask Rada coming out here. I doubt we outspeed that thing, right? Because actually Iron Bundle did outspeed. But you're only slightly faster than Enamorous, and Enamorous is now speeding. But that'd be sick if you do outspeed. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. Protect coming out from Enamorous. And from here, you're just going to go for a Terra Blast, which shouldn't do that much damage, right? It doesn't do half. Flower Trick flying. Come on. KO. Pick up a big time KO. Pick up a big time KO, Miascarada. I love you. I love you. I love you, Miascarada. Flower Trick coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. And actually, we should have just attacked with Enamorous here, because that would have been massive. That would have been massive. So now they're forced to throw out their final Pokemon. It's going to be the Pelipper. I still have Incineroar, which is great. I still do have Incineroar. And from here, who would I rather attack? I could hard swap into Incineroar. If I want to, and just protect Miascarada. Because chances are you're going for a Hurricane, right? Chances are you're probably going for a Hurricane. So I'm just going to do that, and I'm just going to go for a player off and just shot. We'll see. Player off actually outspeeds, which is huge, and we bring this thing down to Sash. So we Sash up the Tatsu. Miyashirata, can you go next? You do. Beautiful. Beautiful. How much damage are you doing here? Can you KO the Pelipper? Just get rid of it. We don't, we don't need to deal with it, right? We don't need to deal with it. We don't KO. Oh, that's rough. That's rough, because he's picking up a double KO here. He's picking up a double KO, because he's Hurricane here. Oh, no. <laughs> it's down to Incineroar? It's down to Incineroar. You Tailwind instead. No way you give me a shot. No way you just gave me a shot, dude. Brain's gone, too. You Tailwind instead of attacking. That is massive. Because now I get out Incineroar. I can fake out the Tatsu if I want to. I could fake out the Pelipper as well. And I think I have to fake out the Tatsu. I think I have to fake out the Tatsu. Just pick up the KO. Yeah, we're going to pick up Tatsu. Look for the KO on Tatsu. Yep. Okay, cool. So we pick up the KO on the Tatsu. You gone. We get a crit on that, too. And Pelipper's just going to try to KO Miyaskarada. Which you do. Okay. So now this is where things get tough. Because the real question is, can you eat up a Hydro Pump, right? Can you eat up a Hydro Pump? That's the question. Can my boy eat up a Hydro Pump? I think he can. Pelper Hydro Pump without the rain. I doubt your special attack stats are anything crazy. 
and your special defense stats is not bad. You actually boost it in special defense, so this could this could come up clutch for us. 201 HP. We'll go for the knockoff. Looking for the win here. Hydro Pump. No, you don't even have Hydro Pump, so that works out perfectly. Incineroar clutching up in the back end, and Miyashkarada being MVP in match number three. One-shotting that Don Dozo, because that Don Dozo was on the field one turn longer. We would have lost this match, no problem. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, me Auscarada on the regulation F ladder. Love this Pokemon so much, and I love it even more when going up against Don Dozo teams. For some reason, I always struggle with them, but whenever I bring me Auscarada, that problem just goes away. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.